you could do better than we did. Oh, we've exceeded our video. So, okay. Oh, we just got to the limit. So now we're going over into part whatever of part one. Uh, that's my phone, guys. It's breaking up the video. Okay, because we're at two hours and six minutes. Well, seven minutes exactly. And my nose is stopped up. And you guys are going to be like, why did that video end over like this? So hopefully this video comes up right after. And my nose is stopped up. It's dry in Vegas. Anyways, um, like I was saying, um, my son, you know, is not a sportsy type of person. I don't buy game consoles and all that other stuff. And so, of course, he's not gaming because I don't provide him with that type of thing. If you get your get grades up, maybe I can learn how to do some layaway because I don't do layaway. Never done layaway. Don't know how to lay away anything. And so, yeah, right now he's just using my laptop to socialize and watch YouTube or whatever the case may be. But anyways, he keeps up with the times more than I know he does. But anyways, his grades should still be good. His grades should still be good. But he's not putting forth the action that's the... He's not giving it his attention the way that he should, basically. But he has his life and he will see when he becomes an adult that he should have done better and I've pushed him I've had people to help me teach him these valuable lessons and show him it's a struggle if you're not paying attention to my struggle something's wrong with you your mother's having a hard time trying to make it in this world that's why we're making YouTube videos okay that they don't want to be a part of trying to get my kids into my videos trying to get my sister into my videos but they're not ready yet I have a feeling that once I become like a, a YouTube millionaire with a billion subscribers then they'll be like let's do a YouTube video that's what they'll do they may they may not anyways it'll be all good if they do or they don't but I love them all the same so um yeah my son is not there yet with um being on top of his education to be into sports but i've never gotten to do anything um family wise with them outside of going to eat at certain places but as far as to going to uh amusement parks and all that other stuff taking trips getting on planes traveling we have never done that but i'm trying to create an avenue of things so that we can do those things before I'm too old to do anything. In my mind, I feel young and vibrant. I feel like I can run around the earth three times. But physically, I know I can't do that. But that's how my mind works. I want to go outside and play. I want to go out and do some things. I want to go out and learn. I want to go out and make money. I want to go out to business adventures, business trips. I want to take family trips. I want to do these things. They're dreams that need to manifest. So... Yeah, my son, I don't know where he's going in life. He's always been the type of kid since he was little. I've always asked him, like, well, what do you want to be when you get older? What do you see yourself five years from now? And it's always been, I don't know. He's had some other things, you know, a police officer. And then he got older. He didn't want to be a police officer anymore. And I do remember him saying he wanted to play basketball at one point. And then he didn't want to be a basketball player. At one point, he wanted to be a wrestler. He was in that I'm a wrestler stage phase at one point. And he thought he was going to be a wrestler, which I knew that he would never be a wrestler. But at the time, I allowed him to be a wrestler. He wrestled everything, the arms of the couch. He wrestled the dog in a playful way, not to harm the dog. He still does wrestling moves on a dog to this day. Uh, President is used to it. He is so used to it, he's never was in any pain any harm uh, Donovan wrestled pillows oh my god he's wrestled a lot of things at one point in his life yeah but what are you guys' idea thoughts on uh, reversals can men get reversals I've never heard of a man having a, a reversal on a vasectomy and is it even possible 
share your comments. I may have to Google. I may have to YouTube and find out if men, men, my nose is stuffed up, men can have reversals. Hmm. Shout out to all you women who have had your tubes reversed. And uh, may God wish you all the best with your bundles of joys. And if it's a struggle and you're still trying, don't give up. You will have that bundle of joy. It will come about for you. And if not, maybe it wasn't meant to be. And maybe you can have this baby in another form. Maybe have a surrogate. If you're not opposed to that, then try IVF. You may not be opposed to that, but hey, it's a shot of being able to carry your own child and give birth to that child or children because you may have multiples. Shout out to all of you who are doing reversals. Much love to y'all. I'll babysit. I'll babysit. Not for too long, but I'll babysit. My face is so oily. I feel like I'm melting away. My voice is getting raspy. It's getting dry. That's what's getting dry. It feels like I'm forcing my words to talk through my voice. Yeah. That's because I'm tired. I'm not tipsy, Janine. I'm tired, okay? <laughs> she goes, yeah, you're tipsy. Look at your eyes. I see my eyes. I'm tired, too. Like I said, this is the last of the wine that's gone. And I don't know when the next time we will have a bottle in this in this refrigerator, in this apartment again. Times is getting a little tight. Wish I would have saved that seven dollars of change. Check gonna be short when you miss two days of work because of the holiday, Fourth of July, and the day after. Check is short. Got to get caught up on the rent and the utilities. I may not even have Wi-Fi to upload this video. Lord, make a way out of no way. Y'all, I'm going to finish this wine with y'all on this video. And then we're going to call it a wrap. I feel like I'm not talking loud enough for the video. I feel like I should be a little louder. I will watch parts of this video over so I can see what it sounds like before I upload it. It will be in parts, but that's okay. That just gives me content to add to this channel. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I saw this thing on Brain Games on I think Netflix. Brain Games on Netflix. But it used to come on one of those cable channels. I forget what channel it was. But they said to unclog your sinuses, you're supposed to like press against the center of your forehead like this. And press the tongue, your tongue to the roof of your mouth like this really hard and it shifts something within the the <laughs> the roof of your mouth and the the back of your throat it kind of shifts it in a sense so that the the mucus or if it's any mucus or so your your nasal passages can open you know and it does something but I'm not sick. It's so hot out here. And the weather's just all just keeps your nose dry. So, we're just supposed to press right here. In the center of your forehead. And press your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Like this. For a few seconds. You know, from time to time. And it's supposed to relieve the pressure 
and if you have mucus up there, it's supposed to be able to get it to come out this way or out through your, you know, your throat. But yeah, you should find that. I don't know what the name of it was called, but I know it was on Brain Games, and it shows you how to function that. But my nose is just it's stuffed. Y'all see my moles on my face? Can you see them? They don't stick out. My beauty marks. And then there's some on this side. Like one up here. And there's one right there. I remember one day. I must have been glowing on this day. Because not too many people comment on this. But it, it's happened and it's happened more than once. But it's not often that it happens. Far and few. And somebody said, why did you put a mole on your cheek? And I was like, I didn't put no moles on my cheek. They thought I took an eyeliner or a wet liner and put a dab of eyeliner on my cheek right here. And I looked in the mirror, and I was like, I ain't got no eyeliner on my cheek. And I went like this, and I said, that's not eyeliner. That, that's a mole, which I didn't know was there at the time. So these moles, they appear out of nowhere. I have one on my hand right there, my leg, my shoulders. You know, they just appear out of nowhere. And so throughout the years, you know, my beauty marks have come out. One there, one there. And no, they are not eyeliner marks at all. Those are actual beauty marks. And some people compliment me on my dimples. And they say dimples. But I do not have dimples. I had a cheek piercing some years ago. As you can see, that was a hole. And it left an indentation, which I didn't know it was going to do. But I do have small indentations in my cheeks. And some people will say they love my dimples. Because I do have naturally small indentations when I smile. And of course that just enhanced it. I didn't know that would happen. So some people will be like, oh you have a cute little... Dimple is some people know off the top that it was a cheek piercing. They would say, oh, your cheek was pierced before. Yeah. What happened? So, yes. I want it redone, but not for sure. The older I get, the more I change my mind on it. I don't want lip piercings. Mm -mm. I don't want this pierced. I don't want anything here. I don't want eyebrow piercings. If I did get a piercing, I would get the other cheek pierced. But the reason why I only got one pierce is because my nose ring is on this side and I wanted a cheek piercing on this side. I didn't want two cheek piercings and I just didn't want to look too busy with piercings. So I wanted it to have piercing on this side. I got this done when I was 15. I'm 41 now, and then I had my cheek pierced when I was about 37, 37, 38, 39, 44, 1. No, I was about 34, 35, because this was about seven years ago, seven years ago. So like around 2011, 2012, Roughly like early 2012, late 2011. And I only had it for six months and switched to piercing too soon to a smaller piercing. Cheek was still swollen. Shouldn't have done that. Kept getting stuck on the inside. Couldn't get the, the original one back in. And I was already in Vegas, not L.A. anymore. And didn't want to go somewhere for them to switch it out. It was sore. It was sore. And I didn't want any infections or anything to happen to my face. 
So I just took it out. I was like, forget it. Mm -mm. I'm over it. I was over it. But yeah. And for some people, they would say, you know, you, you could tell that I didn't get my nose done with a needle. Um, I got my nose pierced with a gun, but I was 15, got done in the kitchen. And uh, they would say, your nose should be pierced within this little crease right here. The crease of your nose. That's where you should have your piercing. And uh, I get a lot of compliments on where this piercing is. People say they like it right there. I like it right there as well. I always thought that it looked better here anyway versus here. I don't like it here. That's not what I want. But if I got a second piercing, which I do want a second piercing, I would get that second piercing where it's originally supposed to be as long as it doesn't affect where this one is. As long as they don't collide together in a sense, which they may. I don't know. I don't know if I have room for a second one, but I would get that one pierced where it's supposed to be pierced. So two on one side. But I did want both nostrils pierced at one point, but it would have to be symmetrical. This side would have to definitely be symmetrical to this one, even though they don't recommend there. I already got this one there, so why not have this one here? Symmetrical. Okay? Yeah. I will say this. The wine is running through me, so let me go to the ladies' room, and I'll be back. We're back. That is it for that. My hands are still a little wet from going to the restroom big bag to last me for the rest of the weekend for me after I drink have some liquor I have to have something salty my body tells me have something salty please do how many of you love ruffles? Love me some ruffles. I'm a snacker. So, if it's a good snack out there, I will eat it. And I will enjoy eating it. What's your favorite snack? Comment down below. We're actually two hours and 25 minutes and 15 seconds into this video, but it's going to separate it. It's two parts. So, when I upload it to YouTube, it ain't going to put it up like this. I don't know why, but in my phone, when I click upload on YouTube, it'll say, it'll have my video selection, and instead of it adding it as one video, it will have it broke down. This one video is going to have it broken down into two parts. The first part was only 16 minutes long and then we did the second video and now that second video has been broken down into this video I think one two oh god I didn't lost count but like I said it just gives me more content to add to my channel 
and once you become subscribers, man, you know, you can always go back to see all these videos. They are unedited. They're just paused in between recordings. And all that good stuff. And for the sake of the second video, once they break it down, I just want to make sure that the second video has enough video content. At least 30 minutes worth of video. For uploading. I don't want you to get like a five minute video was left over of the last video. Could I make them shorter? I probably could. But I don't care. The more content, the better for me. These motherfuckers is good. Ruffles have ridges. Okay, I'm not going to eat no more after this. I could see some of you people say, how could you eat those things? They're too greasy. They're too salty. They're fake. If we put a lighter to them, they will not burn. Don't judge me. I'm sorry, y'all. It's getting good, and I know I said that was it. That was enough. It was getting good. I almost couldn't stop. Oh, boy, this lights is getting hot. Oh, I'm glad I got the fan on. Oh, Lord. Got the fan. The AC on my butt. It's set at a certain temperature, so it don't come on unless it needs to. Excuse me.
That was good. I'm still going to eat my food that I didn't finish, my second plate. I just wanted a snack. Got them chips from 7-Eleven. And I also got some glazed donuts. As well. Before they threw them out. I got four of them. I guess I'll give my kids one. <laughs> Cause I can eat every last one of these donuts. I'm not gaining a weight though. I'm trying to fill in my thigh and buttocks area. Put it back to what it used to be. How many of you like salty sweet? After you eat something sweet, you want something salty or vice versa. You eat something salty and you want something sweet. And for those of you who like water, you wash it down with some water. Y'all gonna be me sick. I'm gonna be okay. I really would be okay. It's good. I purchased the last four glazed donuts at 7 Eleven. What is some of you guys' favorite donut place? Or what are your favorite donuts? I am a donut person. I don't like them too busy with things. But depending on what 7-Eleven you go to, they have um, the red velvet chocolate donut. I think it's a red velvet. Red devil devil's food devil's food chocolate donut so it's like a chocolate donut or a cake i don't know with chocolate icing on top of it and depending on what 7-eleven you go to they will have it and it's really good that's my favorite but the one by me don't have that one and the maple bars the chocolate bars glazed donuts um yeah the basics and they may have what new thing they came out seasonally but they have four glaze so I got the glaze but uh, I do love donuts I haven't tried a lot of donuts um, but I am a fan of donuts I'm at work all the time saying I want a donut I want a donut my co-workers be like you and these donuts I love donuts we had donuts at our meeting yesterday well day before yesterday which was friday the 19th and i ate about four maple donuts no lie four not at the same time but they had a lot of donuts so i would go back and you know i'm watching everybody to see who all's getting donuts want to make sure everybody get their donuts and 
in between times, I'll go grab me one. So we was down to the last donut, and I was watching it. Wasn't nobody going over and getting it. So I was like, wait for the right time to go and get this last donut. And I surely did. I went and got the last donut. Mind you, each time, in between times, my donut sat under another. It was on a paper plate, a little round paper plate. And I had another paper plate covering it. So I wasn't eating those donuts right away. And this training was from 8 to 5 o'clock. And so I paced those donuts in between that eight-hour shift. So, yeah. But they were good. I had four of them. Delicious. Thinking about having another donut. I only got two kids. One for my son, one for my daughter. The other one was for me. Since I went to the store and got it, I am going to eat the second donut. I am. But, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and exit this video. I hope I didn't bore you too much. I hope I bought some interesting content to this video. If not, oh well, I don't care. Still made and it's out there. I love you guys. It has been real. You guys gonna be see the transition of videos. Like, okay, she learned how to edit. Okay, she know how to do this. She know how to do that. She got a boom mic system. Speaking into existence. That's what I'm doing. So for you people that are YouTubers and you want somebody to subscribe to your channel, come on. As YouTubers want subscriptions back. So please subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Give all my videos a thumbs up. Comment in all my videos. Share your output. Share your input on anything that I am talking about. Share your dislike if you dislike my videos because they're too long or I bore you. It doesn't matter. I need some activity to this page. I thank you so much. It has been real. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. It has been real, the real lock talk.